This is Devin for SoftwareMedia.com and in this tutorial for AutoCAD Lite 2010 I will be showing you how to construct and dimension a jig for making an A-arm. First let's come up and open a new file, select the Manufacturing Metric Template and hit Open. Then if you come up and turn on Layer Properties and turn Auto Hide Off, we will build a couple new layers. The first will be Guidelines. and we will set that to red and we will build another one called base plate which will be blue build another one called jig tabs that we will set to black and finally one more called annotations that will also be black activate the guidelines layer, turn auto hide back on, and then we can come up and either use this button for construction lines or the X line command, and we will build a set of construction lines at the origin first. Now we can use the up arrow to bring up the previous command used. We will build another construction line every 50 millimeters from the origin out to 300 on both the vertical and horizontal axes. Now that we have our guidelines built, let's come up and switch over to the base plate. Select the rectangle tool or type in command rectangle. Set the origin at 0 and 0, hit enter. Then we want to build a 300 millimeter base plate. Now let's select the zoom command by right clicking to bring up the menu. Right click again and zoom extents to see our full work area. Switch back to the guidelines layer, exit zoom command, and do another rectangle. Set at 10 and 10. Hit enter and then this next input will tell it how long the rectangle itself is and not absolute coordinates. So we want to do 280 and 280 to set a 10 millimeter border around the base plate. Now let's switch over to our jig tabs. Now we're going to use polylines to build the actual jig tabs. So type in P line and hit enter, specify the point as 10 and 10 for the beginning. Specify the next point as 35 and 90. Next one is going to be going to the right 10 and 0 degrees for its angle. So we want to come down 25, 90, and we are going to come right 25 and set that at 0. Then we want to come down 10, 90, and then bring it back to close. Hit enter, and there's our first part. We'll make a mirror image of this on the other side, and then one up top. Notice that I have built this last bracket up on the top as a symmetrical bracket that is offset. This being due to the fact that I've chosen to do an asymmetrical A-arm. Now if we switch back over to the 
guidelines layer. And we can type in the command ray and hit enter. We will start it at the base down here and end it at the inner corner. And then we will hit up and enter and do the same thing over on this side. That gives us two construction lines to do alignment tabs along these axes. This is also a good time to save the project, so let's come up and tell it save. Go to AutoCAD files. Let's save this one as tutorial jig. And give it number three. Okay, now let's come over and open this and lock the guidelines layer and then switch over to the jig tabs layer. With the guidelines layer locked, it will not let you modify any of the guidelines on that layer, so you can't or shouldn't be able to accidentally delete them. Now we're going to build uh, about four boxes. So let's use the rectangle command. We can put them anywhere we want to at the moment, and let's make them 10 by 20. Now we can come up and hit copy, select this, and then right click to tell it that's what we want. Select a base point and make a copy up here. Then we'll make two more copies instead of actually building several with the rectangle command. Hit enter to finish that. Now we can select the object and it brings up that menu, but let's use the align command. Specify the first source point as this bottom corner and let's come down to this intersection right here. Second source point is going to be this top corner and we'll tell it to run parallel to this. Right click and then when it asks if we want to scale the objects based on alignment points we will say no. And now we have our rectangle aligned with the ray. Let's pan up here, exit, and repeat that process, placing this one over here and these two respectively on this side. Now that those are lined up, we're going to use the rectangle command again and build a 20 by 10. that will be sitting down in this area. We want it at roughly 140 and 150 for its origin. And then we want a 20 by negative 10 block or a positive 10. Now let's come up and choose the rectangle again. We're going to build one down in this area, but this time we are going to use the from command to set an offset. We will choose this point and we will choose 10 for the offset. Now we will say 20 and negative 10 and finish that block. 